Hello everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Top 10 Mocks of the Week episode where I show you guys the coolest custom creations I happen to see people building in a LEGO throughout this last week. Like always, there's way more than just 10 creations to show you guys. Links to as many of the builders that I am talking about are in the description below. So if you do have any extra time, I highly recommend you check out their original pages. Also, if you have extra time, you can check out our web store, www.brickvault.toys that sells instructions for custom LEGO models. Any and all support is always greatly, greatly appreciated. You can always like, subscribe, comment, share the video, do whatever you want to do. Let's jump into some honorable mentions before the top 10. Here's a wonderful Batman perspective shot from Andrew Cookston. From Sarah Bayer, this is Contemplation by the Fireplace. Love the lighting. This is Kyle the Fisherman from the builder Carter Witz. I like that you can see the little fishies underneath the water. Excellent use of that relatively new cylindrical piece from Joxon. This is the Sludge Diver. Tyler Kleitz is still having fun with his amazing stitch design. From Kovis Ariak Mox, this is the Tower of Pisa and probably one of the better examples of clever, simple micro techniques. Daniel Prolesnik did the small scale Geonosis. Love the colors here. Lestrandra Absurd actually did it. He did the funny walk. Uh, I made a comment about his faulty towers build a couple weeks back. And according to his description, there might be a few more scenes coming down the line. If you haven't seen faulty towers, you should just watch the show. I'm pretty sure you can find the episode on YouTube. And this is titled Scaredy AT-AT from Ron McFaddy. Hachiroku24 titled this Feels Good Man. And I hear that documentary about uh, this character is actually supposed to be pretty cool. The Lego Barracuda GT3 from Michael A looks very, very clean. And despite the somewhat simplified Bionicle look here from Buttloaf Builds, this is titled War Burnack, and there's just a lot of uh, energy to this figure. Seb71 built an excellent police car with a great little chassis underneath. Martin Stipkovic's Mech Monday is based on Fabuland. This is a laser musket from Fallout 4. Thomas Guillaume did this one. And I love the use of gold here from the Palmer Station by Simon Liu. Keep these Dark Times models coming. This is awesome from Hugh. Hugo. Here's a throwback to a very familiar mobile suit design from Nobu Terry. It's official. This windscreen piece is the best new thing that has come from LEGO from 2020. Awesome build from Fabs. Slizik the Snatcher from Joxon makes excellent use of those new dots wrist pieces. Please, yes, please built the Mercedes 1900 DTM remix. You'll notice those wheels are canted inwards. This is an IKEA countertop planner from David Catella. Simon Liu's HC Nanny has some wonderful little shots here. Take a look at 3D Supercar Brick's amazing model in gray and black. The 404 Squad Speeder by B. Morrow is super, super sleek. And finally, Brick Ninja's Dispute on LV4273 Epilogue has some of my favorite color uses of the entire week. Now let's get into the top 10 models that we're going to talk about for this episode. At number 10 from Bart de Boblier, comes the containment breach. Excellent use of light and dark. Love the gray detailing and mechanical bits that are popping out in these square rectangular chunks all along the sidewalls. And of course, the extremely ominous organic alien growth above makes you think he probably should have let the robot walk in front of him. Number nine from Mitsuru Nikaido comes the build called Decadence. It's a mishmash of interesting mechanical textures all sort of layered on top of each other. There's a bit of chaotic detailing or maybe even damage to some of this robotic face, but you can make out some eyes, perhaps what could be teeth, and a pretty clear jawline with what could be hair or maybe even a crown. It's hard to tell. My personal favorite details here are the builds for these mechanical fingers that we have. And if Mitsuru Nikaido wanted to build, I don't know, let's say a life-size Terminator hand, we'd probably get some really, really interesting details. From Michael Kanemoto comes the Fab Max V8 Interceptor. It's exactly what you might think it is. This is the original Interceptor from Mad Max, but done with the fabulous Fabuland color scheme. It's bright red, it's bright yellow, and he managed to get basically the perfect pieces to build out a Fabuland version of a Mad Max figure. The car detail building is actually quite excellent. It's not just a funny theme. And he also took this outside and made some really, really cool photos. From the builder, why not? There's a few other new interesting pieces here. I believe everything that comes from this designer is untitled. Literally, there's just no title. It says 
is untitled. So let's just highlight the latest three. There's a much deeper story here that's a bit dark, which I absolutely love. You can see it's sort of maybe right after a birthday party or this person is by themselves having a birthday party during quarantine. No explanation here, but just the details lets you build the story. I'm gonna guess this is a nightmare scenario, uh, but it's definitely a visually interesting piece. Uh, that sticks with you for quite a long time. And this last one is also just very disturbing. What I find so interesting about this particular one is that this building seems to tilt somehow while the horizon does not. I'm not sure how that effect is happening here, but it is definitely an interesting piece. If you want weird thought-provoking builds, check out Why Not. And then number six in the lineup is another build from Bart de Doblier, and this is titled First Contact. The blocks in dark gray have an odd sort of offset bit of detailing that makes you think they could be metallic geode type growths. I like that the topsoil is a slightly different color than the bottom soil with these weird trans orange pieces spiking out. The classic space color scheme is pretty evident with the humans with a really interesting design for a tripod build. And the observant aliens are somewhat creepy looking, but based on the caption for this particular design, I think they could be friendly. Obviously the dry ice effect really brings home that alien atmosphere even more in this model. And then number five jumping down through top 10 is from Architect Lego. I believe the title here is just T. This is a combination of some excellent building details and just absolutely wonderful atmosphere building with the lighting. It just feels so warm and welcoming. You can tell that this is a nice early morning with the woodsman or perhaps fisherman uh, just enjoying his morning tea. You can see a little kitty cat. Wonderful details strewn about this whole area. And if you like these highly detailed and really atmospheric snapshots in Lego, I highly, highly recommend you check out the Instagram of Architect Lego. Now, individually, I have shown some of these builds off before in the past from this top 10 video, but from Ralph Savelsberg, this is experimental military aircraft, and he managed to get a shot of all six of them together. These models are excellent. There are so many interesting design choices used to make the shapes that we have. And it's really cool seeing all these big ships together in one shot. I highly recommend you just go through this person's Flickr and check out some of the closer detail shots of any of these ships. They're absolutely incredible builds. And jumping down to number three, this is from Marcin Otreba and it is called the Lich King Arthas. Easily one of my favorite brick built figures of the year. There are so many wonderful details. I love the absolutely massive shoulder pauldrons and how they clip into the huge dark cape in the back. The white tooth pieces used uh, around the base of the feet has a really interesting effect. The build for the helmet is extremely intimidating. And it's probably one of the more awesome, just in general, sword designs that I have seen. Everything about this model just feels really animate. And there are few brick built figures that I think actually hold a stature and presence like this one. Number two is a somewhat simple-ish looking build from Kono Yaro. This is titled The Little Mermaid. And I like seeing larger figures built at a slightly upscale. Here you get a lot more animation to Ariel's tail. I also think the build for her hair is pretty excellent. The color is quite fun. And I can also appreciate not wanting to build a face at this size as well. I think it's a little bit cleaner to keep things simplified down like that. Anyways, this is an excellent tribute to The Little Mermaid. I think the animation is really captured quite well in terms of the figure motion. And we are jumping into the last build of the week. Remember, top 10 isn't really about my 10 favorite in any particular order, just 10 awesome builds. This is, uh, I found the picture from Jan T, but it is a collaborative build from a lug. The Viking Village collaboration is absolutely massive. It really, really is one of these impressive things that you have to probably see in person to really understand its full gravity. It rests on 32 by 32 base plates seven by eight and there's so much to appreciate for all the different scenes that were created here it's hard to focus once again on individual building techniques per se but as the pictures float by you get an idea for very very specific little scenes happening all over this huge area and it is an excellent excellent example of world building in general 
LEGO should bring back some of these medieval themes. I wouldn't mind getting a Viking theme to jump back in. Clearly, the passion and interest is still there from certain members of the community, and that is going to be it for the top 10 mocks of the week. Remember, if you enjoy our content, you can always like, subscribe, share the video, do whatever you want to do. You can check out our web store, www.brickvault.toys, for amazing LEGO instructions. Thank you so much for hanging out to the end of the video, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.